Alright, so this is going to be an, a, an addendum to my any percent tutorial for Psychonauts. Uh, I just want to make this because I didn't want to redo the whole entire, you know, what was it like three, two, two, three hours of the any percent tutorial. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through things where I thought I could give a better explanation or um, just add things in general. So the first thing I want to do, I want to do at the very beginning, I want to be right here. Let me get the position saver open. So this is just going to be an addendum to everything, so it's not going to be broken up, it's just going to be one general video. Put that right there. Uh, first thing I want to talk about was the palm. Right here. So as I explained before, it, it is based on height, but you don't really need to hold on, get up there. There we go. There we go. You don't really need to get all the way up here, like I said before. You really only need to be like right here. And so like when I'm doing like the trick, I mean the palm rather, I'll start right here and I'll get to right right here and I'll be fine. I don't need to be all the way up here. So it's really all based on like how far you can get up on your double jump button. And so the best way I can uh, do it is I hold A as I come up right here, hold A right there to get the big old jump right there. Once I get it to the end of the jump, I would press B to cancel the text box that pops up. Then I would do it. As you can see, it's um oh it didn't activate because I already activated it on the um, the save. But, as you can see, you don't really need to be all the way up. So, let me see if I can. So, that's a good one right here. But something like right here, if you got the right here, that's not good enough. You're not really going to get a good bounce on it. That one was good because um, it was kind of far up. But again, I just wanted to say that you didn't have to be all the way up on the tree. So if you got a double jump and then a, another jump that was good enough, you don't have to spend that half a second or a second to go up the tree and readjust yourself. Uh, the other thing I wanted to... Yes. Okay, that's a little bit far back. Let me get to... I think I can go backwards. Yeah, I can go backwards. I want to talk a little bit about the super fast palm that can get right here. I think before I said that you'd have to be towards the corner right here, but it's not, it's not true. I recently found out you can even be like somewhere right here and get it. So instead of having to shoot for the corner and hope you don't hit the thing, you can kind of be like right here, actually, just anywhere on the slope. And uh, I'm still not the best at this. But it is definitely a lot more viable to go for that slope than to go for straight for the corner. Like that. So it wasn't all the way on the corner. It was close to it, but still just uh, we just need to be anywhere that's on the slope. Uh what else did I want to do? Um Alright, so you're right here. And normally you're like right here when you do the, um, when you load back in. So before, like I said, I you can double jump, get off the thing, and then flip jump two times. The other thing you can do, which I do, which I do now, flip jump, do once, then you do one jump up to it, and then you would side jump all the way up there. Um, the angle that the load gives gives you when you're doing a game is much better than what I'm trying to show you because I don't really know where the angle is when you do this. You'll get a lot of speed just to uh, jump from like right here up to here, and then you can flip over there. So you don't have to flip jump two times. So that's really one save for that. Let's see, is there anything else I want to add? 
No, no. Maybe if I get into Sasha, I can add some things. Uh, really, I want to add stuff about... Oh, man. Okay. So, two things about Milkman, they're all in the beginning. Just get up there, dude. Alright, so when you do this, you can just press Y and go to it. You don't have to smash the thing, although smashing it is riskier, but faster if you do get it. So, when you come over here, when you load in... You just mash B to get out, walk a little bit, then press Y. That's faster than going over here and punching it. Like that. But, it is faster to punch it if you can also punch the thing right here to get the, um, you know, the blast thing, the firepower, whatever. Because you could punch, get that, and then the thing would just walk over to you as the cutscene's playing. But the thing is, it's such an awkward angle to get it that sometimes you miss the fridge entirely. Sometimes it just doesn't even work. See, I got it like that. Um, if you want to practice it, I suggest practicing it. But I don't go for it, so now I'm just going to do this. Just to make sure I get it. Because doing that anyway, I have to jump up. So I always jump up to get these figments right here anyway. But I guess if, like, if you're really good on figments, you can just do that and then... Get it and walk over here and talk to Milkman. Um, other thing about Milkman was this. So as I found out, so the thing about your ball and your ball speed, the further you go down, the more your speed speeds up as you keep going through the level. You can see um, at the very end, you can see as Rad starts, it's like his strides get longer and longer as he's going through the level and going down, gaining speed. But I bring that up only for the the fact that to help you get the uh, the jump over here, so you're not, you're not doing like this all the way through it, is you, what you want to do is you want to um, get your ball right here, roll off it, and then take the long path to this area right here and then jump off because that will give you a lot more uh, jump for lack of a better term so that you don't have to be doing this all the way through it so I'll show both both ways I'll show you what what like an average one looks like so if I come over right here that was actually a decent one But I will show you what a... Can I just... I think I have to... We do this to get over there. But this is what it looks like if you take the long way. Ah, that's actually a really bad um, one because I jumped off the side of it. But I do the long way now because it's more consistent than just hoping to get it from doing it like the other way. Let's see how far I get with that. And I can, um. I basically don't even have to do any of the flying if I do it like that. Um, I, I failed out because I didn't do the um, side core tech or whatever. Just show it off one more time. We got all that, and I do two of these, and I'm basically right there. I can just jump off. Really good. Uh, another thing I want to talk about was sometimes if you do that and you come over here, when you try to. Uh, get off here and get on your ball to float um, down to the sewer. Sometimes this won't even activate for some reason. I think it has to do with like, where it's just kind of sliding off it and it's just not going to activate. What you can do is once you get here, you can just give a little jump and then get right back on your ball and just slide down there. 
it doesn't lose you that much time. It might lose you like 0.2 seconds or something just to do that little jump. Rather than just trying to hope that you know you just slide down there like that. Uh, one thing in here I want to talk about. Oh, that's fine. Um, I guess I can talk about this. So if you did get the uh, other thing, all you have to do... So when you're doing the uh, the save load from uh, after Milkman, if you get if you do it too late, you get this um, you get the full red screen. All you have to do is just be on the lookout and then just float climb all the way up. Just hold up and float climb all the way up, and eventually you will pop out on the other side like that. The other thing I wanted to show was once you get up here. You come over here. So what you can do here, instead of like touching the cake and then getting on the ball and jumping over it, what you can do is a tiny bit faster if you do pull it off perfectly is to jump on it, double jump, and then fall over it like that. Uh, let me get my uh, save. But just a forewarning, so some areas you might think, oh, if I'm going to double jump, I'm going to double jump over Lily because it's, you know, it's closer to, um, you know, Pokula. But that happens because the the little barrier extends pretty much all the way over into this area. So if you want to double jump or even get on your ball, the furthest you kind of want to be is this little wrong right here. Anything past like right here, you're gonna get into like really scary territory. So I would suggest doing it right here, like that, because you can see how close I am to it. Um, other than that, there's one other thing I want to talk about. It's gonna take a little time because it's the very last thing. I didn't really give a great explanation. Okay, so you get to the last dad fight, and so if you want to practice it, what you gotta do is this. You get to it, let your thing run out, don't worry, that's not going to hit you, he's not going to kill you. And so, normally, if like, say, if you wanted to kill yourself to try to practice it, he starts all the way at the end, so it's not exactly like a, a good practice spot. So what you do, you let your thing run out, pull up your smelly salts, and what you're going to do is you're going to go to Black Felt Velvetopia. All your power-ups are going to get reset right here, so this is why you go to Black Felt Velvetovia, so you can reset your powers and just uh, this and that, come back out. And now your auto save is going to be a black Vel Vel Velvetovia, the entrance right here with your power ups. And you can just come over here and it will be right in the dead fight. Once you get to dead fight, you have to do it like that. Alright, but the other thing I wanted to talk about is how to get a more consistent dad fight. Uh, this is the method I use. There's probably different methods out there. But what I do is I do... So what that was, was I was doing diagonal attacks. Doing up... Um, so I do upright, then up left. Upright, then up left, upright, then up left, and then I just keep doing it over and over again. So for the first up, upright, and up left, I do two attacks, and then I see whether he's still standing there or if he's backed up. If he's backed up, we're good. If he's still standing there, I give him a one more X attack, which is an uppercut, and then I do the up left and upright again once I get to um, get closer to him, and then I just repeat. So it's kind of like a logic thing, where it's like upright, up left, do two times, see what he's doing. If he's close to you, do one more. If he backs away, go up there and just, you know, rinse and repeat. So eventually you're going to get him backed up against the wall. So I I don't know if this is like just something I've done, but I find doing the upright and up left is a little bit quicker. So that if you get really good with your positioning so that you can hit him really quickly once you get close to him, you can get an extra hit at the very end, which will take him below half health. Getting below half health is pretty much GG. You, you'll, you'll definitely get the second cycle. If you're at half health, it's 
you you're, have good odds to get um, get this, the two cycle. If you're above half elf, then it's really hard um, to get two cycle. So I'll just show it off again. So I go as far away as I can, but still so I can hit them. One, two. He's right there. So one, two. One, two, three, one. Oh. Getting that, like, the uppercut is really bad because it really does set up, um, mess up the rest of it. And I'm not, I'm not really sure what causes the uppercut, but. So let me try to get one without the uppercut. So that would have been at half health. I got below half health because I got a really lucky uh, extra hit, which sometimes happens. So again, let me just show you one more time. If you're really good, like I said, you'll get one extra hit if you just do it fast enough. Oh, that's so close to getting an extra hit. So I would just practice, like, making sure that you can do it as far as way, far away as you can and just get your hits off as fast as you can and get the extra hit. But as you can see, I'm at least getting him to half health, which is good odds going into the second cycle. Ah, oh, that was so close again. One more try. So that's very, that's pretty much it for the addendum for this one. Um... Yeah, so if you have any questions, uh, just hit up the Discord. Hope this is helpful. There's the extra hit that I was talking about. Finally got the extra hit, and as you can see, got below half health, and that's really good for the second cycle. And I'll finish him off. It's faster to get the extra hit anyway, because you don't have to spend an extra hit on this one. Oh, missed it. There you go. Alright, that's it for this video.